Okay, so when you first open GIMP, your screen will probably look like this. And the first thing you want to do is move your toolboxes where you can see them better. Okay, then you use File on this menu right here and open the picture that you wish to cut out from. If it asks you about converting, just go ahead and say Convert. Now the first thing you would normally do is go to View and adjust your zoom. Now I'm just going to leave this picture as it is for um, the sake of time here. And what we're going to use is the scissors tool and you may have to click it twice. The icons for some reason um, don't always stay unless you click on them twice. And you're going to come over here, have to click twice again, and you're just going to outline what you want to cut out. Now when you are using the zoom you'll be able to get a much better cutout than what I'm going to be doing here. If you'll click back on the original dot and then click in the middle it makes your selection and right now we have the marching ants and the selection just around the face and what we want to do here is to invert our selection so that we can select what we want to get rid of around the outside edges. So once we do that, we want to go to Edit, and we're going to say Clear. And so now we've cleared what's around that we want to get rid of. Now the next thing, next thing in order to make this a transparency, we need to go to Layers, and transparency and add an alpha channel. Now when we do that we can go to edit and we can select clear which will say clear the selected pixels. So now we have a cutout picture and this pattern in the background simply means that that is transparent so you won't be able to see it. Now we need to go to file, save as, and we're just going to save this back on the desktop. We want to look at select file type by extension and a JPG format does not retain transparency but a GIF format does. So we're looking for GIF and we're going to save it as a GIF. Now it may give you this message about it being exported and you're just going to leave the default and go ahead and say export these options you need to leave just defaults fine and say save. 